ground rotation to make sure that they potentially don't get flanked out as well. Cajun could very well wrap all the way through those tunnels to make things difficult for Sprout, so they have to clear things out. Optic holding the majority of the cards here, but Cajun, this kill, or a series of kills, could be crucial. Kito instantly eliminates him. Suddenly he's exposed to the tunnels. It's Nico that doubles down for a couple of kills on the Krieg, and he knuckles every single player on the Sprout side down. Optic, Tyrison's a little into a bit too deep and actually acts as the boost for Dennis. It's perfectly played. He's ducking, just waiting for Dennis to jump up top and suddenly they have the man advantage. MSL left alone, up in hand, has the long range advantage for these players, but so many more to find. The first is there, Dennis hit the, hits the deck. Secondary player, oh, he just barely spots out the shoulder, but the close player, it's given up his game and MSL completely wins it back for Optic. They thought they could play mind games, bait and switch setups, try and draw the attention away from the bomb site or away from that close encroaching player, but MSL too smart. Hurts it. But now everything flips to the other side. Optic will have to mount a successful defense and cage and B. He's been quiet on the T side of things, but a very explosive pistol, three very fast frags. Sprout, their plan was to take that B bomb site quick as you like but they've been shut down and met at the gates. Well then. <laughs> well, that one seemed to be a little over in a flash. I mean, we'll see, right? Spitty's still alive, but I'm kind of uh, jumping to conclusions, as they say. He does manage one, right? He has an opportunity at maybe a couple more. He's got the bomb in hand, unfortunately. Yeah, that's the issue. He's contained in the upper tunnels, and as soon as he peeks out to one angle... There's a number of eyes trained just get into heaven. I think Spitty realizes that's a possibility. He's beginning to back himself away Ooh. as well. It's all about the timing here, though. Going to be massive as Spitty, yeah, he seems kind of aware, but I think he's starting to second guess himself a little bit as he actually just moved in from the conventional angle. Spitty is going to be holding the correct angle here, oh, but he crouches, kind of fluffs it up a little bit. That's going to give the opportunity across to Tessus, who obviously takes him down, gets the bomb planted. No utility on him, though, my friends. He's still going to have to just find these headshots. Both players coming in together, gets a clean one onto Sirison, spots out the second, is able to back away now, reposition to somewhere a little bit different, keep Favin guessing. Favin's got utility, but in this scenario, don't be pulling it out. He cannot let the timing catch you off guard. Tetris has just crept in. Oh my goodness, he is so slimy. And he manages to pull it off. The one on three from the B-bomb site.